Hello, and welcome back to episode 10 of my journey back to 1000 ELO. We're going to attempt to uh, get this game over with quickly, while also making good moves. We made it up to 923. Let's see if we can improve that. Ooh, the audio is going to come through the wrong spot. So let's fix that quickly. All right, I think I got it. All right, we're black, so we're going to play the Karo Khan. Which starts with C6. Hopefully they do this move, and then we will go D5. All right, that still can work. That or takes. Those are the most common things that I've seen. If they take... Oh... Okay, well, I don't know exactly what the point of this is, but I think that move. I heard someone call this like the triangle defense. So we definitely are going to want to try and get rid of this pawn, but wherever they stop this chain at, that's where we're going to want to attack. And to do that, we're going to want to push this guy. So let's develop a knight. I'm anticipating this move once I push. So luckily, this bishop still defends uh, the pawn on that square. I just have to be careful not to put my king in a bad spot. Okay. Does he just want this? Because I don't find that super frightening. I can do this move. And that move is good because it defends there. Oh, this guy, I didn't look at his rating before. Um, I don't want to blunder anything, but this doesn't seem that frightening. Let's go here. If he's just going to go gung-ho and do that, and I'm going to take, what is going on? I'm going to take... And he can take. And then I can take. I'm attacking his queen and defending this square. So now, this is going to get messy. This move, where both knights would protect each other, but also this pawn is in some trouble. I can just take that defends both pieces. Feels dangerous ish. I'm going to go for it though. Uh, this guy is moving way too quickly. Or girl, whatever. I don't know. So at this point, if he wants to trade, I'm. I'm totally down. I feel like this guy had some cheese lined up. 
but he didn't know exactly how to set it up. So there is still this check. But if he does that check, then I will take his bishop. Or block. But I think take makes the most sense. Because I still protect my knight. And my knight is definitely more valuable than just a random pawn. All right. He's taking more time and slowing down. Okay. Getting in the weeds a little bit here. Let's give a check. He has to do that or that. Okay. Hmm. So what if I do this? He can take or he can take. That definitely feels like needlessly giving up a piece. Uh, nope. I get a free queen. He played that poorly. So let's go back. If he had taken with his... Yeah, okay. That was a quick game. If he had taken with his queen, he could have taken... Oh, can I just go back to it? Will you allow me to? So do this. <clears throat> I take, then he takes. What he didn't think about, and then he's up material, so that was actually a really bad move on my part. Uh, what he, oh, where's the actual game? Come on. What is, what is, what a, stop being so colorful. Okay, well I need to stop that. Let's go to game analysis. I had to have made a couple blunders. That night move that I made at the end was definitely one. Because it ruined all of the... It ruined all of the momentum that I built up. I played pretty well, though. That is a great move. Yeah, take a free queen. This was a huge blunder. Oh, yeah. What was my lead before that? So I was... Up by basically a piece and a half. Sorry, a, a piece and uh, a pawn. And my one move brought it to them being up basically a piece and a half. So, rough. Let's try to do one more. Did not double check that everything was recording correctly. All right, so we have the white pieces, so we will play London. You guys have seen this development quite a few times if you've been watching for a while. So you have at least some idea of what the London looks like. Waiting on this move. Yeah. So we'll do this. And the computer always says that is the strongest move. So let's start there, I suppose. And again, for pre-moves, I almost never use them unless I know things are going to go away I'm expecting. There's no other piece that can take, and it'll only pre-move if they take that pawn. 
If they don't, they just don't have to worry about it. Just don't get inside your own head too much and think, oh, I got this. Okay. Hmm. That's probably one of the only moves they can do. They can still take. I don't know. Maybe just because they want a castle? Just trying to figure out why they moved the bishop there. Oof. Okay. So at this point... I can bust open the center. They can take that way. So let's just restrict movement. This is how a game earlier today went too. We really want to get rid of this bishop if we can. And we really want to keep that one if we can. What are you doing? They do this move all the time, and it is so... I never understand the point. You're going to go there? No. There? No. What about there? Probably not. What about here? Or is it just so they can do this? That doesn't make that much sense either. I can push here. Threaten that knight. Or just go here. Hmm. I kind of like that. This is not a very trade-heavy game so far. And then if I can just assert some dominance there in this file, I'm going to be in a good spot. I'm not, I'm not worried about this at all. This is nothing. Because I have two attackers. Huh. So this move actually helps reinforce their center. And I don't love that. Do I have anything good? I think right now, this... Because I, uh, they have nothing defending that pawn currently. So if they take, I would rather not take with this because that leaves two pawns with no purpose. <clears throat> Although I still do have that move. Which might be uh, the best choice. Uh, that was a terrible idea. Oh, they didn't see. Okay. I feel like I got really lucky. 
That is probably not going to hold off. Oh, man. I'm glad I realized it. But it doesn't make me feel that good. It's those little things that I'm like, why? Why am I going to end up teaching a class about chess? But I've been playing... How long? Like a year? Under a year? I probably took it super seriously for about three months. And, um... I don't know, I feel like I've learned a good amount, but... Okay. So, he can take my bishop if he wants to. But I see this... And he has uh, currently no way of taking. And let's say he does. Yeah, so. It's a free rook. That is a pawn. Now, I need to be super careful. Everything in the center of the board is completely undefended. Do I have a way of shoring this up? No. So you're going to retreat. I'm not up that much. He has both bishops. Depending on his next move. Mm -mm. My thought with this move is it defends here. I also thought about this, but that's a that's like the worst thing I could do uh, because it would just take my queen. So I want to get him over. I also kind of want to take there so that I can get some semblance of structure back. So I see this check. Oof. This is just too intense. So do I make this move? I think I, I have to do something like that. Like, I can kind of see what he's thinking. But I'll just take it. What do you... I don't understand what's happening. And now I have a fairly good attack. So he can take, then it's checkmate. Double check. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I don't know what to say. Let's review. I had a lot of blunders and one missed win. I think it said four blunders. But he had five blunders. He just played in such a strange way, I didn't know what to do. It felt like I was playing someone who wanted to be good at speed chess. Oh, wow. Look at that slew of moves. So the only reason I didn't play that move is because I thought once he took, if I didn't have a rook here, I was going to be in trouble. Like if I didn't have a rook on this file. Uh, I don't know. I guess they don't see that as a problem. That was a mistake. I thought that was such a good move. Um... Because it activated a piece. I know it was undefended. I, I made it that way. And then, where everything went uh, banana sandwich. Why is that a blunder? Oh, because... Oh. I just never made the right move order in the middle uh, when it was so tense in the center of the board. Okay. Okay, that was a huge blunder for them. And it leads to losing material. Wait, did I just... Oh, so that's... Um, I completely overlooked taking with the pawn for some reason. I got tunnel vision on this pawn right there. Okay. Oh, that move is good because it forks the rook and the pawn, and I can't defend both. Interesting. Yeah, so I suppose for that move, what I would have done is this but then he probably would have lined up a rook or brought his queen over I don't know that's that's unique I did think about that move as well which uh, now looking at it makes sense because I can take that piece that way as well and I'm defending everything huh And that was the pawn trade I was super afraid of. I don't understand the purpose of this. I was a little bit shocked, honestly, with how this... Oh, okay. This is what I want to see. So... You overlooked a better way to capture an undefended piece. Show me the line. Oh. And I have a check here, too. Okay. I just, I saw them line up their bishop over here. I didn't understand the purpose. But I was hoping that they would take, because this lined up here. Booyah. That's exactly how it went. And if... <laughs> if they had paid closer attention and maybe took a bit more time, it would have been fine. But, sweet, that's it. That is the end of video number 10. Whoa. We made it to 937 points. Making progress. It's such a slow road, man. But, it's all good. 
It's all part of the journey. You guys have a good one. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I didn't get any feedback on whether you liked live games or uh, like recap videos. So let me know. Keep me posted on what you're thinking. And uh, yeah, enjoy your days. Get some homework done. Make good choices. Peace.